we're gonna go see the Takashi Murakami exhibit in Vancouver today. <laughs> to we, uh, look. we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Tell me more. Okay. What are we doing? <laughs> Perfect. So, okay. actually, let's get the background in. Okay, hold on. So, we are about to go see the Takashi Murakami exhibit, as you can see behind us. The octopus has no legs. Or is it the octopus ate his own leg? It's ate his own leg. It's ate his own leg. I'm just waking up. I have a cough. Yeah. I got, I got, I got a ways to go. <laughs> the octopus ate its own leg. I should know. As you can see behind us. This is going to be good. We've been wanting to go to this exhibit for like... Ever. 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 Um, I knew about this, I want to say a year ago. Yeah. When uh, we had the Juxtapose Gallery here. Yeah. And Takashi Murakami was here. I met him. That's uh, cool. Yeah, I actually went on the opening night and just said like it was for it was private only and I was going in there I was like fuck it I'm gonna meet this guy anyways like, so you just snuck I just in. snuck in and met him as you do and here's a photo of that <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> so I met him and that was dope and then he told me he's gonna be doing this show here yeah. uh, this time this year so that was yeah a year ago which is really dope so here we are we're gonna go see his exhibit and uh, I'm excited I've seen it in LA I've seen it in New York I saw him in Hong Kong and I saw him yeah. In he had a small thing in Japan when I was there, which was really dope. That was 10 years ago. And now we're in Vancouver, so let's do this. Come up for a ride. These pieces represent the uh, the atom bomb in uh, Hiroshima. Yeah, so they look like skulls. But it's actually It's like actually a giant, it's like, it's the A-bomb. So that's what they are, but he's kind of represented it. Because it was another older artist, actually, that did a, a rendition of these ones. Like way back, I think, in the 50s. And he just kind of simplified it, and that's yeah. why it's like that. Much older, because he really started getting uh, producing art in the early '80s. Yeah, and then I think like he went mainstream when he started working with Kanye. Like when I first found out about who he was, it was probably like 2003, I want to say, was when I kind of found out who he was. Because I was still listening to like punk rock music in like '99 yeah. and 2000, <laughs> and uh, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to listen, I didn't really get into like too much hip hop and then when it came to, you know, we're too young to actually get a, like Louis Vuitton and stuff, but that yeah. was really what kind of like held the whole thing together. Yeah. And that, that's where I really noticed who he was. This one is amazing. I mean, I learned who he was by the graduation album. Yeah, that was probably like one of the first things. This one's from 86, and this guy's from 1982. So this says, Wings, the spirit of St. Louis from New York to Paris. And you see the but they're snapping, you see that he's, a, he's got a real thing for turtles in these early stages. They're all like old snapping turtles. Yeah. It was an amazing exhibit. 
It's too bad we couldn't get more like video footage because uh, you know, can't have here. We got in trouble like a hundred times for the selfie sticks. <laughs> but it's not a selfie stick. It is not a tripod. It's a tripod selfie stick. Gorilla pod. It's a hybrid, okay? Funny, they're all like freaking out about it. We got reported to the uh, chief. Everyone, everyone was like, you guys, keep your selfie sticks. <laughs> Let's go grab some food. Okay.